What's poppin' Mayhem Goddess crew? We back, we back in business. <laughs> so sorry for the audio in the last video. This one is so much better. Thank you for letting me know about my audio. I didn't know some of you cannot hear me, so I have cranked up the volume on it, so maybe now you can hear me a whole lot better. So today's video, we are going to go over the Mulan. I got it. <laughs> I got the whole collection. I got the blush, the lip stuff, and some more lip shit, and the palette. I got it all. So let's go ahead and get it popping. So I just want to mention that I've had this for about three or four days now. And let's just say that it took about a month. Nope, almost two months because of the coronavirus to uh, get to me. So here we are two months after it, it has been released. The collection comes with two blushes, an eyeshadow palette, three lipsticks. Well, actually it comes with a liquid lipstick, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, as well as a lip mask to keep your lips nice and moisturized while you're doing your makeup, and the milk little dropper thingy for your face to keep your face nice and hydrated while you are applying your makeup. The whole set retails for about $71 to $81. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think I got it sent to me for, I think I bought it for $81, $71. It was a lot of money for the collection, okay? I just got the collection. I did not buy the PR. I just got the collection because I didn't want to find a whole big ass box to get rid of. Although the box could be a collector's item. So if you are a Disney Mulan fan, I say go ahead and go for the PR box. If you want to, just note that it's a little bit more expensive than just buying just the collection. So far as with the swatches on the eyeshadow palette, I'm just going to go ahead and go in order. I believe so we have in premium strike a match be swift fighter like a girl second row is warrior honor loyal brave strength and for the last row we have truth undefeated defiant guided spirit and legacy for our lipsticks, which come in a set of three. Um, oh, I think this is just so cute. Here, let me let me focus that for you. That is so cute. I love this packaging. Anyway, for our lipsticks, we have, I think it's called Hua Milan, but I could be wrong. And then moving on to the liquid lipstick, we have Strong Chi. And for the gloss, it is called Phoenix. For the milk and the lip mask, it's basically, um, it smells pretty good. It doesn't have a funky smell to it, thank God. But other than that, I mean, there's, it, this is like clear. The, the milk dropper, the face milk dropper, it's clear when you put it on so it doesn't leave a cast or anything, almost like a moisturizer. And then the lip mask has a gold tint to it, which I will be using this quite often. I really do like this. And this smells pretty good as well. Kind of reminds me of coconut. And for our two blush blushes, excuse me, we have matchmaker and good luck charm. They both come with a mirror inside of them and it has this really cute flower on the pressed powder. And I'm just gonna say this, this these are supposed to be blushes. I think it's a blush and a highlighter. Don't quote me on that either. But here are the swatches. If you wanna see them, this does not really show up on me. Maybe it'll show up on you. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, we've been through this. By the way, we back in business. I hope you can hear me now. <laughs> We're going to go into this P. Louise Rumor 2, which is... I've been saying it, and we're gonna apply that 
all over the lid. Now with a smudge brush, and I know this is not traditional, but you know, brushes are tools and you use the tools that work for you, girl, but I'm gonna take this smudge brush, Guiding Spirit and True Together, and we're just going to, we're, I'm going to trace it out. We, me and you, we're gonna trace it out. So let's go ahead and trace it out this way. Because I want the cut crease to be like swooped, if this is making any sense. But I want it to be swooped, so I'm going to go ahead and start basically laying the shape foundation for this cut crease. And I'm not going to take it all the way to the corner. I'm going to stop right about here. Now with that same smudge brush, but I cleaned it off, we're going to go into strength and we're going to blend that out the corners of the cut crease and we're going to take a little bit of fighter and we're going to place that right on top of string to help soften up that red tone in there and still blend it out and this next step should be a given you're gonna go into some good old vaseline or whatever you cut your crease with and cut the crease so for our inside of our cut crease we're going to go with strike a match and we're going to take that on a flat brush and we are going to place that from here to about here then i want to ombre that color with the color called loyal right there and we are going to pop that all on the outside and blend these two together on the flat brush on the end skirts of our eyeball now with a pointed brush i'm going to go into the color be swift and we're going to pop that in the inner corner of our eyeball now take strength and then apply that on the lower lash line so the collection comes with two blushes which one is called matchmaker and the other one is called good luck charm I am confused on which one I want to use because they both kind of got glitter so I guess it's like a blush slash highlight um, I think I might this might just come off straight up ashy on me which is matchmaker so we're gonna go with good luck charm hopefully it's good luck <laughs> so that wasn't enough I went ahead and applied some highlighter because I told you on team extra there's nothing wrong with that but now i'm going to wipe off this lip mask yes i had the lip mask on the whole time that we were doing this look so it is very nice and moisturizing i would mention that but i'm gonna wipe this off so we could go ahead and apply some of the lipstick so it came with three little lip things so you got a lipstick a matte lipstick and a gloss and I said why not to just do all three of them because I'm extra <laughs> so I'm gonna go into strong chi which is the red liquid lipstick and I'm gonna apply that basically on the let's see how can I explain this to you I'm going to apply it as a lip liner okay got it <laughs> now I'm going to be taking who was uh, Milan? I know I said that wrong. Who was uh, Hala Milan? We're gonna be taking this color right here, the lipstick, <laughs> and we're gonna apply that in the center. You see these black pieces in here? We gonna apply it there. Now the last step is is I'm going to be applying this gloss called Phoenix, which has got all of these really cute little gold shimmers almost like the lip mask and they do smell this one smells like you eat it this one smells good <laughs> what do you think about these lips i think that these three together are really nice as well as the lip mask this will now become a staple i don't know if this is limited edition it probably is but this will become a staple i do like having this on my lips the whole time i'm doing my makeup because my lips were very soft and moisturized as the product says it will and it smells good too it doesn't have a funky scent to it now so far as with the palette 
Um, I'm not a brown and reds type of girl. Like, I can if I really, really want to. I can do it in lipstick, but palettes, I just, yeah. Anyway, I think the look came out really cute with the ombre of the red and the type of white-ish color. I don't know what kind you want to call that. What color you want to call that? It's like, it's like a tan pinkish color. I think it came out looking cute. Um, you can do a lot of one color looks with this if you want to. I think that would be really cute as well. Now, I also tried some of their jasmine face milk which i had applied on before i came on and started doing my makeup with you to see how i was going to like it i have no problem so far as right now but i will let you know this i do have very sensitive skin so if this breaks me out later i will let you know but it shouldn't it's nothing but just jasmine and aloe and you know natural products which is the reasons why i had decided to get the collection now so far as with the blushes of the matchmaker and the good luck charm and they I right. I'm just gonna put it that way I mean I don't know girl you let me know can you tell I even have on a little bit of blush I mean they're very brown toned um, type of blushes so I mean very brown tone and nude type of blushes I feel, we all feel, they could have went with the red uh, blush because, the, I mean, why not? Why the freak not? It would have matched, I think, the theme of it. So, uh, the blushes for me are a no-go on my skin tone. Maybe they will work for you. I'm not knocking it. But I did end up going back in and applying my own highlighter. I mean, I guess... You can see a tiny bit of blush, but it's really not like, damn, she got on blush. <laughs> the whole collection will retail you about $84, $81 for the complete collection. I had ordered this shit. Like, the day it came out, and I didn't get it until... Two months later, damn near two months later, I've had it, had these products for like four, three or four days now, thanks to the uh, coronavirus. 